Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Jay, aka the strategy, aka Mama. There goes that man again, aka I'm so disrespectful, aka the man by many names. You're tuning into the AGM Network, and you're tuning into another segment of the Walking Dead Review Show. So let's get into it. Um, this episode, nothing much really happened in it, but something big happened in it. In my last review, I said that I thought Shane was a pretty good guy, and I thought he was doing the best he could given the situation he was given. After this episode, those feelings have really changed a lot, and I'm going to explain that. This episode, they started off with Shane in a bathroom shaving his hair, so two things went up in my mind, and he kind of gave like, but he, he kind of gave like this, this dark look into the mirror and was like, like an evil look so a flag went up in my head and it either it, it did two things a it let me know that he survived it he survived whatever the hell they were in and b something bad happened so i automatically assumed that rick's son died but i couldn't be further from the truth so the next thing that shows is him running him and the new guy running through some type of school um some type of high school and um and them trying to get away from the walkers and whatnot and the episode was really about Shane trying to get back in time. Um Rick's son woke up and you know you know, he got to talk to him and, you know, tell him, Hey mom, it was a deer and you know, because that's the last thing that he remembered or the last thing that happened to him before he got shot. And his mother was really like, you know, maybe we should let him die. And like I said in the last episode, we kind of saw Rick break down. Rick has been constantly been strong, and we've seen him break down twice. We've seen him break down when they were in the um, the in, in the first season, and we've seen him break down again once his son got shot. Those are only two times that we've seen him break down, and um, it it was it was weird because she's like, we should let him die, you know what. If we let him die now, then he won't be in any pain, you know, he'll, you know. And Rick didn't really have an answer to combat her until his son, to the boy, woke up and was like, Mom, the deer, he's like, that's why we should let him live. You know, when he woke up, he didn't talk about, like, oh, I got shot and felt it. He talked about something living, and that's why he, that's why we should let him live. We just have to keep believing. And, um, it, it kind of won her over because um time was slipping he he steady he steady slipping in and out of consciousness in the episode that shown going into a seizure and it just doesn't look good for him because they're steady going back and forth between the house and rick and the son and to shane and the other guy in the school and it's not looking good they got the supplies they just can't get back to the truck everywhere they walk or everywhere they get is walkers um they they show a, a scene of Shane and the guy like up on the bleachers and walkers are all around them. So they basically decide to split up. The guy was like, I can't fit through that window. He's like, so I know the school. I'm gonna go through the locker rooms. Windows my size. I can fit through those. And um, Shane was like, okay, I'm gonna draw some. I'm gonna lay down some cover fire for you. They do that. Make a long story short, Shane jumps from like a two story drop. While he's doing it, a, a walker reaches and grab him. He and you know he didn't get bit or anything but he shot the walker he fell and he fucked up his leg okay now he can't run and he's unknowing if the other guy even lived because at the same time when he hit the ground he got up and he's putting on the peck stuff he's hearing shots go off so he doesn't know if the other guy's dead or alive or or what you know so um um, Shane goes around the uh, little thing looking for the other guy, and he's basically at this point he's surrounded by walkers, and you know it's walkers towards the back of him trying to get him, you know, in the fence, and his walkers coming coming towards him, and he's like, you know, he might be dying, and and this would have been a great scene for me had not not already known that he survived it. I mean, because I'm watching it and I'm like, damn, Shane might die, but then in the back of my head, I'm like, he can't die. They showed the very first scene with him in a bathroom shaving his hair, and I know that he's probably gonna make it out of this. So, like I thought, um, the other guy, I forget his name, 
he shows up in the back and he starts pl um, plucking off walkers. And Shane was like, I thought I lost you. He's like, you know, enough of that. So they're trying to get back to the truck now. Meanwhile, at the house, uh, this is around the time when the doctor approaches Rick and he's like, you know, if we wait any longer, you know, they did, they did another um, blood transfusion. And the doctor basically told him that the blood is leaving him faster than what we can put it in him. If we wait any longer, he's just going to slip away. So we have to do the surgery with without it. And without the equipment to do, without the proper equipment to do it, the chances of the surgery goes down in will he live or will he die? And he looked to it and he's like, I need to know. And she was like, let's do it. So they're preparing to go to take the kid in surgery. You know, they bring the stuff in. They, they, they're they getting ready to fix him up. And all of a sudden, they hear Shane drive up. Now, I'm like, damn, Shane. I, I think back to the very beginning. I'm like, when Shane was shaving his hair, why was he giving that evil look? If everything got accomplished and everything got back, why is he giving that evil look? They go outside and see Shane. But the other guy, I forget his name. Um, somebody leave it in, in the uh, comments below. Um, the other guy isn't with him. So I'm like, whoa. What happened to the other guy? Because the last scene that they showed with him and Shane, um, they were walking down, they were going down the street. This is right after the time he saved Shane, when he showed up at Shane. They're walking down the street, and, you know, he basically told Shane, I got four rounds left. Shane was like, I got five. I got four and one in the pipe, So which means he got five. Um, and they were shooting and they were like, Shane fell and he was like, you know, fuck this. Here, just take it and go, take it and go back. I'm going to, I'm, you know, take it and go back to them. And the guy was like, no, I'm not going to leave. So he picks up Shane and, you know, they're shooting back. And that was the last we had seen from him. The next scene we seen Shane in, he was driving to the house and he was by himself. So I was like, whoa. Did, and Shane explains when he got there, you know, you know, he's like, we we were we were down to our last rounds and he covered me and you know I laid down fire and when I looked back you know they had him and I'm I'm sorry and I was like I don't believe that the the way that he explained it and the last scene that they showed I I instantly was just like bullshit that just didn't sound right because if anything he would have been able to maneuver a little better than Shane not saying that he was more in shape. But he wasn't hurt. Shane was. His leg was fucked up. He can barely walk. Um, this is why when he failed and he was like, I can't go. He's like, here, just take it and take it back to him. Shane was the weak link in this. And the guy was like, no, I'm not going to do that, man. I'm not going to leave you. And um, I was like, that, that, that just didn't sound right to me. Well, lo and behold, I was right. They were walking. They, they, they showed back to the scene when... Um, when Shane and them were on the street and basically they were running and they got down to the last rounds of peace. By the way, Shane wasn't down to his last round because he said he had five, four, four in the clip and one in the pipe. He fired three rounds. At least that's what I counted in the episode. He fired three rounds, which means he had two left. He had much more than what he said. Um, the other guy, he actually only had one round left. Um, and they looked at each other and they were like, we're both down to our last round. Shane wasn't down to his last round, by the way. Um, and he was like, they, they looked at each other and it was like, he's like, I'm down to my last round. He's like, and Shane looked at him and was like, I'm sorry. Boom. Shot him in the leg. Now, remember at the very beginning I said that I liked Shane up until this episode because I just thought he was doing the best with the situation that he had. He sacrificed, dude. He shot him in the leg. They got him to a tussle. And um, he shot him in the leg. He basically sacrificed him. He shot him in the leg. They got him to a tussle. Shane's beating him, trying to get the backpack off of him. He, the backpack off of him. He's beating him. The dude grabbed him in the hair. And that's how he, he, he ripped out a piece of his hair. And that's why Shane ended up cutting his hair. Because, you know, it, it kind of explains itself in the episode. So he's beating him. And he got the backpack off of him. He got the gun away from him. And he's walking away. And while he's walking away, they just show the walkers. 
and deer just they got around dude he was still alive he only shot Shane only shot him in the leg and they showed the walkers around him and they're ripping him apart every walker did not care about Shane anymore they all gained on him you even seen walkers in the scene he's walking this way and walkers are like right here and they're not even paying attention to him they just walk straight to him and everything just got him and they show him screaming and stuff I was like damn he sacrificed him now I don't know how to feel about this so yeah um overall this was a good episode and um yeah that's it so man that's gonna do it so this has been your boy Jay aka the man by many names signing off Konnichiwa, bitches.